hi loves and welcome back to my channel so as you guys saw from the title of this video we are going to be making a chocolate heel arrangement so here are the supplies that you are going to be needing and i'll also go ahead and link everything in the description box so you're going to be needing two bags of pink candy melts or you can use white chocolate and add your food coloring to it it's completely up to you you're also going to be needing this chocolate mold chocolate high heel mold which again, like I said, I'll go ahead and link in the description box if you're interested in the exact same one. You're also going to be needing this dipping aid. Um, pretty much this helps thin out the chocolate. And I really, really love using this because it definitely helps my chocolate thin out. And it just makes it easier to work with. Some butterflies for decoration. And then this is one of the molds that I'm going to be using. And then I'm also going to be using these Wilton brushes and I might just use the big one. I'll see, I might end up using both, but I like to have them both in hand just in case. Some pink and gold edible glitter. Some strawberries and I forgot to mention and show you guys, but you're also going to be needing some edible glue. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is melt your candy melts. And we're going to start with one bag, which is what we're going to need for the chocolate heel. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the chocolate thinner to it. I don't add a lot, just very little. Um, a little goes a long way. And remember to melt your chocolate in 15 second intervals so your chocolate doesn't seize or um, get burnt. Okay, so my chocolate is ready. As you can see, it's nice and thin. And now we're just going to go ahead and pour it into a measuring cup. It just makes it easier for me to pour it into the heel with the measuring cup. And like I said, we are going to be using one whole bag of the candy melts. That's how much I used to coat the heel three times. And this heel is on the smaller side. There are bigger ones, but I thought this one was perfect. So just to let you guys know, for this size heel, it took me one bag to coat three times. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and add our first layer. And you want to get a good amount in there so you can make sure you cover the whole heel fully. Make sure you have no blank areas, no blank spots. Take your time. This is a little time consuming because you want to make sure you get every single spot covered. Or else it's just not going to look cute and a possibility is that it might break. Okay, and after you feel like you have coated the whole heel the first time, you just go ahead and dump out the excess chocolate. And I just go ahead and put the same bolt to catch the excess chocolate, and then we can just reuse it for the other coats. Okay guys, so now it's ready to go in the fridge, and I'm going to go ahead and leave it in the fridge for about 7 minutes. Then I'll go ahead and add the second coat, leave in the fridge for 7 minutes, and add our third one. Okay, so it's been 7 minutes, and as you can see, it's hardened, but not all the way. Now we're going to go ahead and add our second coat, and like I said, after our second coat, we will put in the fridge for 7 minutes again, and then add our final coat. Okay, so it's been seven minutes and now I'm gonna go ahead and add my third and last coat of chocolate to my heel. After I go ahead and add my third and last chocolate coating to my heel, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in the fridge for four hours to make sure it gets nice, hard, and solid. You don't wanna leave it any less time because there's a possibility it might break. So yeah, four hours is perfect. Alrighty guys, it has been four hours and now I'm going to go ahead and unmold our high heel. I also want to recommend using gloves because fingerprints do tend to like show up on chocolate, especially when it's cold chocolate. So definitely wear gloves so that no fingerprints stick to um, your heel or whatever you're working on that has to do with chocolate.
Okay, so I do want a sparkly heel, so we're gonna go ahead and use our dab and hold um, to use as a glue. And we're just gonna go ahead and grab it with our hand and smear it all over our chocolate heel. And then we can go ahead and start adding our glitter to our heel. If you want it to be sparkly or not, that's completely up to you. But I did want to have a, like I said, nice and sparkly heel. So I love glitter, so that's what we're using. Okay, so while the glitter on the heel dries, we're going to go ahead and melt the second bag of candy melts. And we're pretty much just going to go ahead and start dipping our strawberries and adding the chocolate to the molds and the decorations that we're going to be using. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and assemble everything together. 
I'm going to be using this sparkly board. I absolutely love it. It has a bunch of glitter and I did find these at the 99 cents only store and I feel like it's so cute to display any of your work. Alrighty guys, and this is our end result. I absolutely love it. I love all the sparkle and all the pink. I feel like it looks so perfect for Mother's Day. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here now. But before I do end it, I just want to show you guys an option on how you guys can package it if you choose to package it. I'm also going to go ahead and link the description on the size of the boxes and the size of the high heel. Because if it's perfectly in here, if you are running a business and you choose to sell it, this is how they would look. It still looks super adorable. It does not fit the letters of mom in here though because they are kind of big. But nevertheless, it still looks adorable. And yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.